Hey everyone. Today I'm talking about a different subject. LAN multiplayer gaming. So today I'm gonna teach you how to prepare a PC for LAN multiplayer gaming. I'm gonna connect two PCs using a network cable. First, I have to say this. The all stuff I'm doing here is not required for LAN gaming. I mean some of them are optional. But doing all of this can avoid so many problems on LAN gaming. Let's get started. First of all, connect two PCs with the network cable aka RJ45 cable. Connecting PCs using a LAN cable but without a router won't let you connect more than two PCs. Only two PCs can connect by a single LAN cable. But if you use a router, you can connect all of the PCs together. At least four PCs I guess. I only have two PCs to connect. So I'm not gonna use a router. I have to remind this. If you don't have a LAN cable, you can still connect the PCs. But it requires wireless adapters for both PCs. Laptops not a problem because every laptop has a wireless card in it. If you want to know how to connect two PCs using wireless, let me know in the comments. I will make a video for that. This is the first PC. Step 1. Make the advanced sharing settings. For that, you have to go to Network and Sharing Center. You can go there through Settings or Control Panel. This is how you go through Settings. And this is how you go through Control Panel. Then go to Advanced Sharing Settings. Now change the settings like mine. Actually what I'm doing here is turning everything on. Now, this setting is important. Turning this on will make your device more secure. But in order to use this your user account must have a password. If you doesn't have a password, Turn this off or create a password. Now save changes. Again go to advanced sharing. And then media streaming. Turn it on. And click OK and close it. So, the first step is done. Now you have to repeat the first step on second PC. Well, now we can check if we did it correctly or we messed it up. This is how you do it. Open Explorer and go to Network. Now if there are two computers showing in Network, you did it correctly. If the folder is empty, you messed it up. Hope you did it correctly. Let's go to Step 2. It's about adding the credentials. Open up Credential Manager. You can do it by going through control panel or just by searching. Now go to Windows credentials and add a credential. And now we gonna have to add a credential for this PC. To do that, go to desktop and right click on this PC or in Windows 7, computer. Then go to properties. In different versions of Windows, it looks different. In Windows 7 or 8, this window will open up. But in Windows 10, this will open up. Let's take a look at Windows 7. Now in this window, click on Change Settings. Then click Change. And now copy down computer name. That's all we wanted. Now take a look at Windows 10. It's so easy in Windows 10. What you have to do is just copy down device name. That's all. Now close the window. Go back to the credential manager. Now you can see three different text boxes. 
In the first box, it says internet or network address. That's where you paste the device name. Here type your username and below type your password. Type them carefully because if you type this incorrectly, it's not gonna let you access the other computer. Then press OK. And now add another credential. This time, go to Network. Now, as you can see, both of PCs are visible here. Now, this PC right here is mine. I'm saying it because it has my device name on it. So now you have to type the other one's device name here. Be very careful when you type this. If a single character went wrong, you can't access other PC. Now type the username and the password of the other PC. Then press OK. Now click Backup Credentials. Give the directory to save the file. Now, press Ctrl, Alt and Delete together. Then add a password. You can add whatever you want. Then click Finish. Now you have to move this file to the other PC. I used a USB pen drive for that. Then open Credential Manager on the other PC. Click on Restore Credentials. Now, select the file and click Next. Then do the same thing you did before. Type the password and click Finish. Well done. Step 2 is done. You can check it if you did correctly or messed up. To do that, go to Network. Then go to the other PC. It might get some time. If an error popped up or if it required a password, it means you messed up. If you did it correctly, you should be able to go in there. And also there will be the users folder in that. Let's go to the last step. In this step, we are going to share the files. This option is completely optional. If you think you don't need to share files, just stop watching the video try to play a multiplayer game. Don't worry if it isn't working. I'm gonna make tutorials for that. So let's go back to the topic. Now open Explorer. Open properties of the drives you want to share. Now go to sharing tab and then advanced sharing. Now tick on share this folder. You can change sharing name if you want. I'm gonna change it to local disk D. Then go to permissions. Click on full control. Now click add and enter your username. Then click check names and click OK. Now check on full control and then apply. Now apply this and click OK. Now close this too. Now if you want to share other folders and other disks, you have to do the same thing there. Now go to the other PC and share whatever you want.
Good. That's it. Now you can access files through the network. But you can't do changes in other computers. For example, when you try to copy something into the other PC, it will fail. But don't worry. I have the solutions. To fix that, you have to follow me. Now what we have to do is get the entire access to the computer. For that, it's gonna take some time. Go to Explorer. Go to Properties on a Disk. I'm using D for this. Remember don't use C. I will explain it later. Now go to Security tab. Then go to Advanced. Now change the owner. Type your username and then check names. Now click OK. Now remove all of these. Then click Add. And do the same thing we did before. And now check on full control and press OK. Now click Add again. And this time, don't type the username. Type everyone and press check names and click OK. Then check full control and press OK. Now apply and click OK and again click OK. This will take some time. When it finish, this will pop up. Then close it. Now I have the full access to disk D. If you want access other folder and drives, you gonna have to do this to them too. Now, about C drive. You can do this on C drive. But, it's gonna take a lot of time and also having access to C drive gonna make C drive more vulnerable. So I recommend you to not to do that on C. Don't forget to take the permissions in the other PC too. Now we can make the map drives. Go to Explorer. Click on Map Network Drives. Change the letter if you want. Click OK and finish. You can make more map drives as you want. And that's it for today's video. Hope this was helpful for you. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. My next video will be Age of Empires 2 LAN Offline Multiplayer Tutorial because you requested it. See you in the next one.